Good evening, everyone. This is Tomato Nuts with the Diamond Saddle. Uh, tonight we're playing Resident Evil Revelations 2. I want to give a shout out to my boy TJ Blessed. Um, bought this game in hopes that you know we finally get to the point in the story where we eradicate any blue ant objects that we find. But I'm um, just starting out here. I picked up some things you might have missed. I picked up a knife. I uh, woke up in this facility that looks like something out of a Saw movie. And you know pretty much everything I know right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've got a friend of mine who seems to be, I think it's Barry's daughter. I think her name's Mara. She has a flashlight. And she's just kind of following me around. <clears throat> so armed with nothing but my knife and the severe motivation to we find a gun or this. something. Give me a hand, Moira. All right, so we're gonna go. Just kind of drapes about this abandoned facility. Careful, stand back. And we're gonna try to find some sort of firearm because I don't care what anyone says. This is a Resident Evil game. There's gonna be some big nasties around every corner. Oh, look at that! See, I called it. Armed with my trusty knife, which is about as useless as a dick on the Pope, if you're familiar with uh, Resident Evil. What the fuck? At this point, at this point, Claire really shouldn't be surprised. This kind of stuff happens to her all the time. She's always. The only difference that I see is I don't have a 12 year old following me around, but I guess the last, no, actually the last game I played with her and it was uh, Code Veronica, before that was Resident Evil 2, not a, not a big follower of the series, but I've always found them entertaining. Well, you go follow her, you're the curious one. So, true to life, I'm going to investigate everything. And I have a green herb. I would just like to take a moment to point out that the producers of Resident Evil are big proponents of the legalization of marijuana. Yeah, sure, I'll run in here where it's dark and... I've got the bloody screen, but I don't know how or if I can heal or if I'm just gonna run around and until something finally snaps my head off. And if something snaps my head off, I mean, I'd just probably just call it a night, have some chicken fingers, and fuck around, and no big deal. No, I don't want to hug. Did you know her? Nope. Yeah. She's with Terra Save. Terra Save. More like Terra Bull. But I'm this must be the way out. Then we need to find a way through. Door. Need the experiment block key, which you can find after you find the blue ant object. What kind of but you need to unlock something else. Oh, wait, this is next. Okay. Gun? Here. Gun? Please. Of course you can't reach that. Almost got it. No. Well, that blows. Oh, did we get the keys? No, probably not. Guess I'll just keep going. Okay, uh, let's see. I know I have this. Uh, pass, confirm, use. There we go. Aha! Me learning. And I have done this before, after all. No. 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 God damn it. <clears throat> Alright. Well, let's keep moving here. Oh, of course, the, the creepy door. All cool stuff inside of there. Some more herb. Let's see. It uh, looks like it could be a box, an instant meal of some kind, perhaps. 
jar of mayonnaise right there. What kind of sick experiments were they doing? Mayonnaise. Like an empty bottle of ketchup. And... Oh my god. Alright, well, except for the guy that's trying to reach through the bookshelf, I haven't had to kill anything yet. Uh, just kind of hanging out at the country club, having a good old time, and a bunch of goobers in uniform, reminiscent of the operatives in Resident Evil 2, jump down and kick my ass and throw me in a cell. Alright, we made it. Key's over there. Oh, we haven't made it yet. Ugh, this place reeks. The key's over there. I know there's going to be more to it than that. Not my first rodeo, cowgirl. The key's gone. See? So, ah. Uh, are you gonna use that? It's more reliable than any person. If you say so. Well, of course we have to put the whole belt on. Love a lady the that knows how to accessorize. The body belt. It could be anywhere. It's too dark to see. Shine the light around. Oh, that's cool. I can switch characters and. Armed with a flashlight. Pew pew pew. Hey, check it out, Ryan Hill. It's the eye. Oh, whatever. Alright. Oh, gee, that sucks. Limited flashlight. Oh yeah, please tell me it's up someplace high from where I just came down from. Let me try shooting it down. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's shoot at the tanks. Me, 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 pew! Okay. Bong hole. Oh, shit. No, I'm not gonna forget about nothing. Getting up very slowly. Uh, I think he's dead. Looks like he attacked me with some sort of barbed wire drumstick. Where the fuck? Okay, whatever. Ah, instantly. Okay, well. So far, so good. This has been my short experience with Resident Evil Revelations. And there will be more to follow in future episodes. If you're watching this on YouTube, please leave a like on my channel. And I will see you next time.